19 is just a flu. Lockdowns are unnecessary. COVID-19 vaccines can turn you into a crocodile. These are just a few remarks made by Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. And now, when the country is witnessing a record spike deaths related to COVID-19, the president has a message for Brazilian citizens. Stop whining and move on. He has, however, taken a complete U-turn from his crocodile comment, saying that Brazil will secure a minimum of 40 million doses by next month. Wonder what brought that change in President Bolsonaro. We have secured 400 million doses until next year, and we have 178 million being negotiated. During the month of March, we will have a minimum of 20 million doses available. I say at least because I don't want to see 30 million, just in case 29 million arrive and I'm criticized. And so to understand what is unfolding in Brazil, we have collated data of last 10 days on your screens is the daily deaths recorded in Brazil this week. The country recorded its highest deaths in 24 hours with 1,840 lives lost. The total death toll right now stands at more than 260,000. Countries with far less deaths have imposed strict lockdown. The Brazilian government has been slow to purchase and distribute vaccines. Only 3.5% of the population have gotten one shot of the jab. There's criticism erupting within the country. The state governors and doctors have complained that the federal government has mismanaged the coronavirus crisis. But President Bolsonaro is of the belief that shutting down the country is not even an option. The savage policy of closing everything down again is not going to be good. We know that the virus kills and we regret the deaths. We are going to take care of the people. Government is arranging more and more vaccines. This is the country that vaccinates the most in the world. Nevertheless, Bolsonaro's popularity has been supported by $57.7 billion in emergency and payments to poorer Brazils. The Brazilians have also received payments from the president. Now the Senate voted to renew the aid program at a smaller scale. The proposal is yet to be approved by Brazil's lower house of Congress.